One of the problems with investigating alternate worlds in the way that the Templin Institute does is that it's time-consuming. We have to do research, we have to compile it all, we have to then find a way to present it in a way that's not boring, and all of this is a bit of a process. If Emperor Palpatine is resurrected through dark science and Sith stuff or whatever, well, don't expect us to talk about it for a long while. And this isn't great, because a lot of times there's developments from across alternate worlds that I wouldn't mind talking about, and I don't have the outlet to do it. Until now. In what I'm calling Templin Institute Shorts, until I can think of a better name, I'll be doing some more unscripted and off-the-cuff reactions to whatever's going on. Despite the name, these won't necessarily be any shorter than our typical episodes, but they'll be quicker to produce. I mean, look, I've already rambled on about the idea behind this show without getting into the topic, so clearly I can't be brief. But enough of that, I hate it when videos spend too much time trying to justify their own existence. Let's get to it. Recently, it was announced that in the near future, we'll all have an opportunity to jump back into the role of Commander Shepard and save the galaxy from the Reapers. I'm excited for this, since Mass Effect is one of my favorite universes of all time. But it got me thinking where that universe can possibly go from here. I think the universe of Mass Effect is one of the few of its kind that can tell any number of stories, not just those based around Commander Shepard. But so far, it hasn't been exactly successful in this. So, on the first episode of Templin Shorts, I want to pitch my ideas for where the Mass Effect universe could go from here. And we have to start with the three different colors of Elephant in the Room. Depending on the actions of Commander Shepard, the Reaper War can end with the Reapers under the control of Commander Shepard, destroyed completely, or with AI and biological lifeforms combined in a kind of synthesis. Without delving too much into this ending, I think it's the main anchor that's holding back the Mass Effect universe. The implications of this choice on the wider galaxy are so profound that it's impossible for the universe to move forward without completely disregarding two of the possible options. But I think this is exactly what has to happen. Let's just pull off the band-aid right away. One of these options has to be considered the Prime Universe, or whatever you want to call it, and the storyline has to move on from there. To me, Mass Effect is as much about the characters as it is the locations, the universe itself, the political systems that govern it. I don't want to let all that stuff go and head off somewhere else after I've just come to love the Milky Way. What happened with the Systems Alliance? What happened with the Krogan? Sure, we got some brief explanations for this, but there's still so much more to be said. So in my mind, despite what I think was a brave attempt with Andromeda, any new iteration of the Mass Effect universe should remain in the Milky Way. But with the Reapers, this giant existential threat to all life in the galaxy now gone, surely any subsequent conflict or story is going to feel somewhat small-scale in comparison. Well, yeah, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I don't think there's any need or desire for Mass Effect to one-up the Reapers by introducing some even bigger, grander threat immediately after their defeat. It would kind of cheapen the whole thing. And I think that Mass Effect is unique in that it doesn't need a huge, overwhelming threat to tell an interesting story. All the elements are already there. So here's my pitch. If the actions of Commander Shepard and the Reaper War were this universe's version of World War II, where an alliance of nations came together to defeat an evil, genocidal threat, let's take things from here into the Cold War. I think it would be interesting if, despite the unifying actions of Commander Shepard in the years, decades, or maybe centuries after the Reaper War, politics and ideology once again got in the way. The Citadel Council doesn't quite exist in the same way it once did. In fact, the races that made it up have now been divided along two competing alliances. You have the Asari Republics and the Turian Hierarchy on one side, and the Krogan Clans and the Salarian Union on the other. Each alliance has been trying to achieve a place of primacy across the galaxy, swaying other more minor races to its cause, funding political groups and paramilitary organizations and its rivals, and just generally fighting a cold war. Given how much we already know about the races involved, I think it would be interesting to see a story in which neither side is just necessarily evil, but trying to assert their dominance over the others. Just because the Reapers have been defeated doesn't mean the Ismar frontier isn't full of strategically located star systems. There's plenty of room for disagreements even among former allies without making one side cartoonish villains. So in this new political environment, the Systems Alliance is the true wildcard. 
Thanks to Commander Shepard, it has positive ties to both alliances, and both have been attempting to win the system's alliance over to its cause. Whichever side humanity joins will drastically upset the balance of power. So that's my basic pitch for where I'd like to see the Mass Effect universe go. I think it's interesting enough to have a few good hooks, but not so limiting that you can't tell any number of stories within it. I said earlier that I think Mass Effect is a universe that can sustain any type of story, and I think the series should really try to embrace that. We don't necessarily need to see another story about a Spectre going off on some mission of galactic importance. It's a huge universe, and I think smaller stories can be just as interesting and engaging. What about a wannabe mercenary commander who starts his own organization on Omega and tries to expand it across the entire galaxy, fighting for either one of those alliances in a bid to increase its own power? What about a detective investigating some sort of mysterious murder on the Citadel? Or a full-scale war on some planet where both alliances have eschewed the normal Cold War deterrence in favor of open conflict? None of these stories are going to shake the foundations of the galaxy, but I don't think they need to. But, as always, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, do you like my pitch for where I'd like to see Mass Effect go with the kind of futuristic Cold War? Do you have your own idea for the future of the Systems Alliance, the Turians, and everybody else? Or do you have some other idea for where Mass Effect should go? And lastly, what do you think about the new Templin Shorts format? Let me know in the comments below. And until I can think of a better way to sign these videos out, see you next time. I'm Commander Shepard, and... I have no strong opinions regarding the Templin Institute one way or the other. 